So welcome back. In this Selenium with Python tutorial series, we will see today how we can handle the drag and drop elements by using Selenium Python. Okay. So in our previous session, we have seen how we can handle the drop down, and then we have seen also in before to that we, uh, session, we have seen how we can handle the PyTest uh, as a unit testing framework for Selenium with Python framework designing, and we have seen few of the features. Okay. So we will be seeing one by one all the browser elements how we can handle okay so let's see that first a demo application how exactly a drag and drop looks like so this is an HTML uh, portal actually where you can see there is a drag element and there is a drop element means it's a area where you need to drag this one and then drop it here so this could be one of the scenario I can say real-time scenario let's say that you have list items here on the left hand side and then to select a few of the items uh, the user has to move uh, the select the required items to the right side so that the selection can retain and then as per that your application will manipulate or it will process further so for that reason we need so sometimes if I can say like let's say that if you want to customize your home dashboard of any application or else let's say that you want to select a few of the menu elements then you kind of need the drag and drop elements where the required elements or required options you can drag it towards the right side and then you can uh, visualize that by saving that. So these are the different real time scenarios where we need the drag and drop okay okay so uh, now if I refresh this it will come to its original position okay now how do we handle by using uh, this selenium with Python actually so there is a way in uh, in the Python library so that's called as actions chain class okay now this actions chain class will provide few of the methods which we can use to perform this operation and why we are saying this is action chains because chain of what do you call tasks that you want to perform Perform actually like first you need to hold it and then you have to move and then you have to drop it to a particular location or on any one of the element actually so these are the three different uh, steps that you want to uh, what do you call it? you want to make it to perform or to complete your task okay so let, let's see that how exactly the action chain implementation is there in Python okay so what I will be doing I will be creating a new file okay under this elements folder only I will give name as uh, drag um, let's make it a small drag and drop some name I'm giving dot py okay so under this we will be writing our uh, methods actually so for this let me copy paste from by from my drop down whatever we have learned in our previous session so that it will be easy so instead of this URL I will be using this particular URL and let me just copy paste this one okay and this won't be a registration this will be my drag and drop right so drag and drop okay drag and drop and then I don't need this one okay so as I was telling to handle the drag and drop we need action change right so this will be I'm just taking a variable equal to action change I guess okay so now once you do this one yes you can import it now if you see here inside this we need to put the driver object okay because action change is a constructor actually inside that we need to put the driver object now by using this action variable or object I can perform a different uh, option uh, task actually so one of that is that you can see drag and drop so action dot drag and drop now what are the methods actually this gives if I put a control space you can see it is giving the source and target so I need to provide a source element and a target element now what is source element source element is this one actually now if I right click and inspect it it is if you see here now let me just go to this entire one right the entire element I want to do so this is ID is draggable and I need to put it under a droppable uh, element right so what I will do here I'll create an element let's put this as a source and here I will say driver dot find element by ID actually I will make it by ID and I will say this one is draggable draggable okay the same thing I will be putting another one as a target so this will be my target here let's keep it target and change this one to droppable 
oops fine okay now here what i need to put source comma target fine okay so once i will do this one then what will happen this will go and put it onto the center of this particular element on top of the target actually okay and let's do one thing let's wait for some time so that we can see that in action actually and time let me import this name and i will give only time and under sleep let's put as three seconds so that i can see that properly then i will quit the browser okay now if you see here one thing if I, let me rephrase this one so here it is drop here right now if you see here it is giving me the drop here now when i'm dragging this here it becomes dropped actually okay so normally how do you verify whether it is dragging is working properly or not so one thing is that you can verify by using this text so this p uh, this paragraph name or the text should be dropped if it is dropped it means that the drag and drop is become successful if it is not then you might be getting some issue so that is the one way you can identify another way is that you can take a screenshot of this because you are practicing right in real time you might not be verifying this one because as i said if you are moving to the right side uh, if any element then you can verify the least on the right side you can count it how many items you moved that many items are present or not so that is another way of verifying that so at this moment i'm just taking a screenshot so that i can show you that okay so as we know uh, how to take a screenshot so i will just put it a driver dot and it's very simple actually you will see a save screenshot and here you need to provide a file name where exactly you want to save this one so let me just say that i have a folder structure and under you just where i'm keeping my browser drivers i'm just keeping there so that you can get it and i have to provide the file name so i will say drag and drop some name i'm giving okay fine now let me run this because this is a pytest project i'll put pytest hyphen sv so that i can see more detail about the output and then i will say elements and i will say test underscore drag and drop oops okay drag okay fine now let me run this one okay you know what it becomes successful but it didn't uh, run properly how do i show you if you see this one let's go to that folder and if you see this one there is no uh, what do you call is created i guess yeah you can see it is not yet dragged properly the reason is that you can see this is a screenshot and it's not yet dragged here the reason is that we have made this action chain drag and drop we need to perform actually this perform basically does that operation so it is kind of executing that this is just writing the script and perform means it will execute it now another thing yeah let me run this first then we will see as you can see now it dragged and then it should have been taken a screenshot as well now let's see that if you see yeah now here you can see it taken a screenshot and it put here okay this is a screenshot actually okay fine good so now another one more thing actually here what is the thing if you uh, after you drag here if you are uh, what do you call identifying this p element text for some reason it is still showing me the drop here only which is the uh, the old way i don't know for what reason but when i am dropping here even though it is coming as dropped but it is not displaying that uh, because these are demo applications right so some or other issues will be there uh, so in real time what you can do if you really want to try this one after you drag this one wait for maybe one second or something or two seconds then you can assert this one you can say dropped right so you will first say like this so target so target one is that right so target dot text in so whatever you will be getting uh, so the best option is you make it like this here you put what is your expected uh, text actually so you will say dropped and you will say in this one now if it is successful this assert then you will say that it is dragged properly we will see in another example so at this moment let me comment this action 
we will see some other ways because as I said there are various ways where I can drag and drop if you see another way action dot there is something click and hold if you see this one it means that see I can do another operation right if I refresh this one I can click and hold and then I will move to another element so it's basically the drag and drop whatever it is happening right that one we will make it in a sequence actually so if you see here click and hold you can even click a particular element also let's say dot click operation is not happening you can use this action click as well so you can just do like this and give any element or whatever you want any buttons or anything so that is another way of clicking a particular element so click and hold what I want to click and hold the source dot move to actually so move to an element what is that element that is nothing but on the target dot perform and another thing you can do sometimes it happens too fast actually if you see this one by using selenium it happens so fast so sometimes you want to pause for a moment so what you can do in between this you can put a pause actually here like you can put a two seconds pause just to see how the drag is happening okay now let's see this one in action okay okay you can see it uh, at least you would have seen that uh, how it dragged actually there but I got some error because as I told for some reason if you see this target dot text it is giving me drop here but by that time it already dragged it even I tried waiting for uh, 10 seconds or something but it didn't happen but yeah like as I said it's a demo application so I'm not worrying as much as I'm just trying to uh, what do you call discuss about what and all the features are there to handle the drag and drop operation but if you see the uh, what do you call okay it uh, already the assured become failed right so you might not be getting a what do you call the screenshot but if you see the uh, browser didn't close actually because it didn't reach out to this driver dot quit because assert only got failed and it didn't execute but you can see it dragged already these things fine let me close this browser explicitly which is instantiated by using the driver and okay so th this is the way there is another method as well if you see action dot and here if you see uh, let me just move to element so if you see there is one more method move to element with offset actually so it means that if I put the parameters so you can move to a particular element but even you can specify the X and Y coordinate also so that elements X Y Z coordinate you can move up down wherever you want you can put it so you can just do it on your uh, own actually this one depending on your requirement so like if you see the example what will happen move to element underscore with offset and you will say target and you will say I want to put X and Y coordinate 100 100 pixels so this is another way also you can perform this one okay like let me quickly run this one to see what happens Now if you see it bit down actually it came because on target 100 pixel so how it is coming you know this 100 and 100 from here actually so always it goes to the left corner left top corner of that element and then it goes 100 and 100 actually 100 pixels towards x and y coordinate so depending on your manipulation you can provide the x y coordinate fine so this is again another way you can perform the X and Y uh, the drag and drop there is even another way also so there are so many different options you know why actually the selenium is providing all these feature uh, methods actually because some or other time a fixture method might not work in all of the drag and drop scenarios so depending on how do you want to do that you can use different methods actually from there so there is another method you can just go to this action dot drag and drop you will see offset but here if you see it is giving only source only so my source is there which I will be holding and moving but where you want to move sometimes you don't have any particular element to identify that you just need to have a particular what you call XYZ coordinate where you want to drop this one so you have to find it where exactly you want to keep this one so that is what you want to find it out so whether 
whether it is 100 pixel towards right or left you can see th there is on the purple highlight you can see it is just going so by looking into that you can see 173 pixel and 19 actually so if you give that one it goes exactly to that position let's keep that one seven you can see this one actually so if i mouse over and copy this one so that exactly the same thing i will put it here let me just copy paste so 173 comma and then i will put something 19 let's put something nearby it's not exactly we want to do that let's put 170 and 10 and see what happens just give a space and then here remove a space and dot perform always we want to do a dot perform let's see in this way whether this assert is uh, working for us or not it's basically the source element will go to 170 pixel and 10 pixel of this okay to move it means what it will do here let me show you that let me refresh this one so from this left top corner right it will go towards 173 towards the x-axis and y-axis it will go to the 12 or whatever pixel we have given 10 pixel that one okay now let me run this one and see what happens So as you can see it came exactly to this position and luckily one more thing if you see here if I see this one you can see the shirt also got passed how do you know let me just print this target actually so that you can see entirely what is happening actually okay now if I rerun quickly and you will see the text become dropped actually and it will the assert also got passed you can see that somewhere yeah you can see here dropped and the assert also got passed normally what is happening if i move this one right to exactly this uh, one somewhere it is not able to capture it but when i'm moving with the offset actually then it is able to identify that and if you see the screenshot it would you see you can see it is bit sideways it dragged actually not exactly center of this element because we have provided the xy uh, offset actually instead of the exactly element on top of which it should be dropped okay so these are the different ways uh, like if you if i want to recap that very quickly you can use the drag and drop method where you have to specify the source and target it will be exactly going on the middle of the target element to drop it there now if you go to this action click and hold it will be single element it will click and hold pause for two seconds and then move it to the target element again center only these are exactly same just different way of holding a different way of performing the task another one you want to drop it onto a element but with a specific target if if the drop option is not working properly or you don't want to keep it exactly on the center you can give the targets xy offset the same thing if like in case if you would have seen right this target dot text is not coming i tried different option but when i've tried this drag and drop by offset then it is working properly so where you are just giving the source element only the destination will be depending on the xyz coordinate another thing when you are dealing with the xyz coordinate make sure that with different resolution like when you are doing like this when you are doing like this because nowadays all the applications are responsive right so when you like go like this then it kind of shrinks that particular area so your xy offset might change so be careful careful whenever you are dealing with uh, this uh, xyz coordinates and with my personal experience try to avoid this xyz xy coordinate handling uh, unless it, that is that essential to perform certain task okay fine then uh, so these are the different ways where you can perform the drag and drop um, hope this helps and do subscribe to our youtube channel because we will be adding more and more videos so stay tuned and thank you for watching